In this video, I'm going to share a wonderful routine for you to align your energy, your amazing human energy, with the cosmic energy, with the earth energy that's settling all around you and within you this November. My name is Prune Harris and one of the delights of working with energy and being able to perceive energy is being able to watch this slightly different vibration that evolves, that nurtures you, that comes in and pushes, makes you move into the places of challenge or really flourish in your abilities. And this month is really special because it helps you connect more deeply with your soul path, with those deep wisdoms that are inside you. Now, I've written much more about this in my blog, so pruneharris.com to read more. Please go and read about it because I want to keep this video much more... Um, much more detailed with how you can align your energy, but I really want you to understand this month because it's an amazing, it's like, a, it's like standing on shifting sand. Things are moving. It's in a beautiful vibration, kind of like an olivey or kelp green. It's thick, it's expansive. It's a magnificent energy, but it could bring some challenges. If you've ever stood on, maybe think about standing right at the edge of the ocean where the, as the waves come in, it feels like the sand, the ground is being sucked from beneath your feet. That's the kind of energy that this month is going to encourage in your system. And maybe that feels wonderful because you know you're about to dive into the ocean. Or maybe it feels really vulnerable because you feel that that ground underneath your feet is continually moving. This month is all about what you choose to notice, where you choose to put your attention. So let's get working on a beautiful routine that's just going to help align your energy, ground you deeply into that liminal space, that space between the ocean and the solid ground. All right, we're going to start by working with the feet because really the whole objective of this routine is to ground you deeply in yourself, to nourish your energy so that you can stand strong, that you can feel stable even as you connect in. So we're going to start with the feet and you are going to massage your feet however feels great. You're going to open up the spaces all around the bottom, massage the heel. I'm sure you know how to massage your feet. So just make sure you pay attention to all of the edge places, the side of the foot on the inside and the outside. Maybe stretch your toes, curl them under. Do whatever feels good to you. It's a beautiful, beautiful way to open your feet to actually allow energy to leave your body system and be received by your body system. And also make sure that over the top of your feet you really massage in between those tendons. It's amazing for just helping you feel stronger, more resilient. Groundedness is really key to Think of it as the start point for every flow of energy in your body. Okay, now let's go to the other foot and do exactly the same thing. You're going to stretch it open, curl those toes forward and backwards, really move across, massage deep. If it feels really good, then pause the video and just keep doing it for a few more minutes. Make sure you get the top and the sides of both of the feet. All right, once that place is open, we can connect it in. So right in the ball of the foot, between the big toe and the second toe, where that natural curve of the ball ends, then there's a very powerful point. It's the first point on your kidney channel, your kidney meridian. I'm going to show you again. So literally, I want you to hold that with any finger or fingers. 
And with your other hand, you're going to come to the point of your clavicles, your collarbones, and just drop down about two centimeters. So the point of the clavicle and drop down. You'll find that there's a natural groove there, a natural divot there. We're just going to connect these places up. This is the last point on your kidney meridian. So let's take a moment here. If it's not accessible for you to put your leg up on your knee like this, then you can be sitting down on the floor, on a bed, on a sofa, leaning forward and holding that point. So if I was doing that, I would have my hands and just lean forward and hold that point. So find your way that you can be really comfortable while you do this. Let's take a moment and settle Settle the awareness, the attention, your consciousness into or onto your body. How are you doing today? How are you feeling? What do you need? Great questions to begin to carry your awareness into that place of deep wisdom, of deep knowing. That energetic core where your soul energy is always flowing and always connected, always supported by the earth energy below your feet, by the cosmic energy above your head. Both of those energies flow into your energetic core continually holding you, nourishing you. All right, and let's switch over. So we're simply gonna do exactly the same thing. Finger and thumb in those divots below the clavicle and another finger or fingers into that point between the big toe and the second toe, but in that curve of the ball of the foot. Just settling back into your body here. You can visualize, imagine, think, feel all of the active peripheral surface energy that helps you move through your day or rush through your day. You can feel that energy returning home Returning into your center, your depth, calling it back. Let's take two more breaths here. Good. Now just relaxing your foot, you're going to come into the center of the sternum. You can bunch all of your fingers together and just place them right in the center of your breastbone. All of your fingers together on the other hand and take that just below the navel. So we're helping. We open the feet, so we allowed that energy to flow more fully. Then we connected that start of the kidney meridian with the end of the kidney meridian, helping that energy come up the body and really begin to nourish this chest area. Now we're coming from the chest area down into the lower dantian area, which is where you have your great big battery, your great big physical battery that powers how you can bring your soul expression out through every action, every thought, Feel into the space within you here and the space around you. This exercise will nourish your heart field, a deep electromagnetic field, so that it 
gives more charge off the body, giving you beautiful boundaries, space, security, stability. Feels so good, let's take one more breath. You can choose here either just to place both hands on your thighs to really drop that energy or to come and tuck your fingers into your armpits, leaving your thumbs on your chest wherever they naturally fall and allow that heart feel to be nourished and nurtured even more. Beautiful. So I would recommend that you do that exercise very regularly throughout November so that you can really align your energy for the magnificence of this month. I have another video, it's on my membership chat channel on YouTube. You can click on the button to join and in that one we really work with this magnificent, magnificent energy center called the assemblage point. The assemblage point helps you really follow, be connected into that guiding light, your own amazing energetic North Star. So maybe we'll be together so that you can really support that part as you move through November and always. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.